There are a few places in our lives where we are asked, do we know where we're going? And we need to know where we're going. One is our children. When it's time for school to start and we ask them, do they have all of their supplies? Do they remember the route? Do they know where they're going? Now, usually that question is asked because you are no longer walking with them. It is now the responsibility of perhaps an older sibling, the nanny, whomever. But you want to make sure that they know where they are going. And there's nothing wrong with that. You want to make sure that your kids are safe. We also ask this question when we are dropping them off at school. Now they're a little bit older and not the route, but do you know where your homeroom is? Do you know where your starting point is? And they're like, yes, mom, got it. And off they go. The next scenario is when we've decided to go camping. We're going to go on a hike and become one with nature. Now, if this isn't something that you usually do, your friends may even say, are you sure you know what you're doing? And the answer is, of course I do. And then you realize you may have bitten off a little bit more than you can chew. Then there's probably the one that most people are familiar with, and that is the road trip. Now, there used to be um, a time where you had to have your handy dandy map available, and the navigator was just as important as the person driving the car. Now we have GPS, it's in our cars, it's on our phone, but you still need to know where you're going and trust and believe the directions that are given to you. We all know that person that still tells the voice, no, it's a left instead of a right, right? But the one main place in our lives that we need to know where we're going is when it comes to our jobs. And many times we don't. We get the job and we just go to work, come home, go to work, come home, rinse and repeat. And before we realize it, our lives are totally and completely out of sync. We're no longer in control of our lives. Our lives are controlling us. We don't know what tomorrow brings because we're not working according to to a plan, not the plan, but like any plan. We just simply show up day in and day out. Or maybe you're the new person and you're trying to explain what happened and people are like, nope, that's not it because we've never done it that way before. And you were given misinformation and now you're trying to defend your stance. Or maybe it is the day that you've dreaded. It's time to pack up your stuff and go for whatever reason, be it that you've made the decision or they made it for you. So now you're laying at home, you can't go to sleep, you know, it's the middle of the day, you don't know what to do with yourself and you just seem to be at your wit's end. All because you did not plan for your future. But the day you wake up and you realize that you are in control, you do know exactly what it is that you need to do because you've known all along, but you've pushed it to the side. You said that can't possibly be, but they told me that I needed to do this instead of that to be happy. But now you realize that, yes, you know what to do. And again, you could trust your gut after all. Now, it takes some people quite a while to get to this point. And even though you now realize that you know what to do, you still need to come up with the plan. You still need to get into action, but do it properly. If not, you end up in the same direction you were going before, where forward was backwards and backwards was forward. So figure out the direction in which you, with your new plan, with your new purpose, need to go. You'll notice that the the day seems to be a little bit brighter. You're no longer under the thumb of another person, but instead you are walking along your path. You are walking to the purpose that was called for your life. You are walking to the purpose in which you were called in this life. Now, you may do it alone or you may do it with a partner, but you are doing it. You are moving closer to your dream and you are making it happen. And it all starts with the word. It all starts with you deciding that you are going to stop doing that and start doing another. The thing that you have been called to do. Now, if we think about it, in the book of Genesis, God created the heavens and the earth with a word. He spoke and it was so. Everything that he did in the creation story, he spoke it into existence. And if the breath of God is inside of each and every one of us, then we too are able to speak into existence that which has been purposed for us. We just need to figure out what is our word? What is the word that's going to help get us moving forward? 
Now, once we figure all that out, it may be a little blurry for a little while and you may feel a little uncertain, but if it's proper and true for you, it will become clear. We just have to step out in faith and continue to walk and move forward. I know it sounds easier said than done, but there are so many of us that have already done this. We understood that it may be a little blurry, but we can do it. Now, don't get distracted. There are going to be some cute distractions out there, right? But you have to stay the course. If not, what happens? You have to go back, recalibrate, resituate yourself, reassess. You may even have to ask for directions because you went a little bit too far or you stopped short and someone needs to say, yeah, it's right there. And then you can go ahead and continue along your path. Now, because you had to start over, it may be a little blurry again. But what you may find out is that this time it may be blurry, but it feels familiar. And before you know it, you're chucking it on down the street. You are smooth sailing, right? You are zip, zip, zipping along. Why? Because you remembered the future. You heard that, right? You remembered the future. Instead of focusing on your past, you chose to remember what the future is holding in store for you. Have you ever noticed that when you go somewhere, it takes forever to get there, but it It only takes, you know, like a second to get home. Why? Because you know where you're going. Because you know exactly where you need to go. The signs are all there. But the signs have been there the entire time. You simply didn't know how to read them. Your successes have been waiting for you to catch up to them. So now you're able to walk in this new mindset. You're able to walk in this new realization that yes, it's not impossible. It's I'm possible. Are there going to be some failures? Absolutely. But there are going to be more successes because now you know what to look for. Now you know what to expect. And once you've walked in success, once you understand what you have been called to do, you're going to pack up your desk and you are going to say goodbye to the rat race and you're going to do it happily. You're going to be excited to do it. Why? Because you know that this is your turn in the sun. This is your turn to do exactly what God has called you to do, whatever it is. And again, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else because it's your vision. It doesn't need to be the road that someone else is supposed to travel. This is paved just for you. And once you get on that road and you stay on that road, you will find that the journey is beautiful.